Hey everybody, today we're gonna play with high voltage. This tiny generator claims to produce up to 400 kilovolts, but in reality it reaches around 100,000 volts, and it only costs about 5 bucks delivered. We'll see how it works, and then I'll show you a simple concept device you can build with it. Inside this little module, there's a simple pulse generator, probably just a couple of transistors plus a transformer and a bunch of diodes and capacitors arranged in a voltage multiplying setup. I'll put the links to all the stuff and tools in the description. This module runs on 3 to 6 volts DC, so let's start with a couple of AA batteries in series. Wow, that actually was pretty loud. Next we have an 18650 lithium-ion cell, which gives us about 4 volts. Definitely impressive. And if you want an even bigger effect, you can connect a second module in parallel. Let's check how much current it draws. About 2 amps, that's about what I expected. As you can see, the maximum arc length is around 40 mm. Since roughly 25,000 volts can create a 10 mm spark, that puts the output at around 100,000 volts. Definitely enough for a serious zap. Now let's talk about putting everything together into a complete device. Minus the casing, that's part up to you. You could use PVC pipe or an old flashlight. I definitely go with two of these generators and a lithium battery, which we'll need to figure out how to charge. This little board is a charge controller that costs just a couple of bucks. All you have to do is solder the battery to these terminals, like so, and you can start charging right away. And these terminals are where you connect your load. There are also versions that come with a DC boost converter, which can boost the voltage up to 20 volts. This is super convenient if you're using a 3.7 volt lithium battery but need a high voltage for your device. Just adjust the output to around 6 volts and it's ready to go. Now let's add some control elements. All you need to do is solder a button between these wires and it'll work instantly. I'd also add a slight switch in series with a button for safety. It's way too easy to press the button by accident, especially in your pockets. Let's give it a try. Pretty cool. And that's it. What's left is to organize these components into a proper case, or just use it as is. 